Anything goes, open net, eggnog session, bring on third party traffic. Who's up first today? Ben. Well, that was a short key. Don't forget, you gotta give time for those links to open up there. So go ahead and try that again. Open. Well, hello, Alden. Fancy meeting you here. And I heard you were real excited earlier this week when you heard that uh, this Friday was the, the night was eggnog. So, what have you been up to, Alden? It's been a little while, about a month, maybe maybe a little less since I talked to you last. Uh, what have you been up to? Still in school. Sometimes when, I, when I'm done with school, I like setting my puppy. Setting your puppy? Yeah, I'm setting my puppy. Yeah, I like my puppy. Well, I like petting my puppy. My puppy, though, is about 12 or 14 years old. She was a rescue, and uh, she can't hear, so you can't talk to her. You have to pet her so that she knows that you, you're, you're giving her love because she can't hear it in your tone of voice because she's deaf. But what kind of a puppy do you have? Retriever chow. I think you said a retriever and a chow, so a, a, a mix. And I thought retrievers were chow hounds not mixed with chows oh. so how old is your puppy i don't know it's just the way that god made him you don't know how old your puppy is he's 11 so he's 11 years old so he's a dog not i thought you had a little puppy so he's a full-grown dog then pretty much he's an old boy all right well what's his name Okay, you got to try that one again. We're getting a little short key in going on. So, a little bit longer on the push to talk before you say it. It's Baron. Uh, I still didn't understand it, but that's okay. But if you know the phonetic alphabet, you could spell it phonetically. And if you don't, Grandpa will tell me later, okay? Dog's name is Baron. Okay, copy that. Baron, as in, I'm guessing as in land Baron, not uh, Baron land. That, that's what I thought. So, okay. So, is Alden still there, or we got the other one in the wing? I'm still here, Bruce. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to ID, because I want to make sure I get it in every 10 minutes or less. So, KG7TUO is eggnog. I'm talking to Alden, third party, with the control operator. Go ahead again, Alden. It's your turn. Well, I meant it was your turn to say something, but, but you did say something. You ID'd, so you're good to go now. You have more time than I did, though, uh, left on your clock. So, nothing, uh, you've been helping Grandpa with the Jeep or anything like that, or just doing schoolwork and petting the puppy? He hasn't been doing anything lately. Uh, I thought he was trying to get some work done on that Jeep with, uh, I heard him earlier talking about there's something wrong with the the uh, environmental controls on it, which is like the heater and a defroster and stuff. And I thought he had been working on that or trying to. I know he's he's got the, the surgery he's working with and uh, can't crawl up under there like when I can't do it either. I used to when I was 18, but not anymore. But I thought he was working on that and you might have been trying to help him. Can you say that again? My sister was talking over you. Your sister was talking over me? Well, you need to turn the volume up on the radio when that happens. So what I was saying is your your grandpa, I heard him talking about working on the Jeep, and so I thought you might have been helping him, but apparently not. So that's okay, though. And I guess your sister Lily's sitting there. She's probably chomping at the bit to get a hold of the microphone herself, huh? Yeah, pretty much. Well, are you going to be a, a good brother and hand it over willingly? Or does she have to kick you off, or grandpa have to kick you off the radio? All right, Alden, thank you, and uh, welcome, Lily. Thank you. Um, uh, I was I really don't know if uh, Lily's coming on the radio, but this is, uh, well, this is not the, I just normally think that you guys get Lily and Lily mixed up to go, Lily, Lily. No, we've got you. Uh, with Alex's call sign there for the control operator, and then we have the other Lily. Is uh, her control operator is Steve? 
and he said she's not there uh, she's not been feeling well so but we're all looking forward to hearing you two talk again so when she's well we will get you on the air and we were talking just I think it was last night maybe night before that you don't have to wait for egg eggnog uh, your control operators can get you together under third-party rules any time that there's a uh, room on the repeater so might want to put a bug in grandpa's ear yeah, it's just, uh, I just really, 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 really have been wanting to talk about, to talk on the radio with Lori, and, uh, well, Mom asked me a question, and the question was, how many friends do you have on, on the radio, and I was like, I have Bruce, I have Lily, and I can't remember what other one that I said, but... So far, I only have two, I think. But Lily's been my favorite out of the two, because I miss her so much. And my brother's a dork. Well, now, the first rules uh, of amateur radio is we don't call names on the radio because that's not nice. And we're always on our best behavior when we're on the radio, okay? And, and you're not in trouble or anything. We're just pointing that out. But uh, do you have a logbook started yet? No. So she's out right now doing the Christmas shopping. So um, you might want to ask Grandpa how you could start a logbook and you can keep track of all the people you talk to on the radio. And then down the road you can you can go back to that and go like, I talked to that person on that day. All right, um, uh, I just really, really want to see Lily at the moment. <laughs> I was really hoping to uh, say so I heard grandpa in the background we can't produce them I think is what he said and so she's not feeling well there's nothing we can do we got to wait till she's feeling better and it's you know that time of the year in Oregon where it's cold and wet and people get a little sick and they got to get over it and then the rest of the winter they'll be fine so when she's better She'll be on the air, I'm pretty sure, because I, I think she wants to talk to you as much as you want to talk to her. Whenever you call us both on the radio, just say, Lily, Lily, Lily. Well, I think if I know that you, both of you Lilies are there with your control operators, I might just call your control operators and have them get you to go on right off the bat if you're both there when we start. But... She's not here tonight, so we can't talk to her. And your mom's not there, so we can't bring her on the air. How about your aunt? Is she there? No, sir. Uh, she's not. And I'm going to take over this, and uh, we'll uh, clear off for now and pass it over to Nat so someone else can have their turn. This is over to Nat. All right, Alex, and thanks for getting the, the both of them on there, Alden and Lily. And thanks to Alden and Lily for playing on Eggnog on the radio tonight. And with that, this is KG7 TUO. Right now we're doing eggnog. So anyone that's a control operator with third-party traffic, please come now. Real quick, uh, quick there, Bruce. Uh... Go ahead, and Lily, if you're listening, I bet you he's got a, a news for you about your other friend. Apparently they're still both sick, Mom and her. Um, but um, uh, I was just wondering, you probably record all of this. If you could send me that last little sound bite um, to my email, um, if that's possible, I would like to have that to play back to my Lily uh, because that was absolutely precious. So I'm pretty sure that you probably record all of it. So anyway, all righty, there you go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stand by here. Uh, carry on, young man. Comment, please. Go ahead, Alex. More permission for that. Uh, I called Billy back to radio so she could hear it. She's kind of disappointed, but uh, she does understand. So uh, all we want to do is uh, tell Billy to hurry and get well so that she can be back on eggnog and we can talk with her. 
All right, thank you, Alex. And Steve, yes, I, I do record, and I can get you that clip. So I will send out as soon as I can uh, get to it. I'm in the middle of a move, but, uh, she, you know, hopefully she's, Lily's not sick for a long time. I will try and get to it as soon as I can, and uh, probably tomorrow, but maybe even tonight, and uh, I will get that for you. KG7, T-O, this is Eggnog, and I'm looking for third-party traffic with a control operator present. With third-party traffic from Angela. Uh, uh, with Angela, go ahead. Hi there. Um, I just want to wish everybody a happy holiday and season greetings, and it's nice to talk on... Uh, Aegon, and I think it's a really wonderful um, place to be able to talk, and thanks for the opportunity. Well, uh, you're welcome, Angela, and uh, if you're not, uh, if you want to keep talking, um, we'd love to have you talk a little more than just that. Uh, I'm wondering if this is your first time on the radio. Actually, my second time, um, but uh, I'm a little bit shy, but hey... Um, I think this second time is a good chance to uh, wish everybody well and be a part of talking on this station. And anyway, thank you. Well, you're welcome. And there's no reason to be shy. Ham radio operators are all very nice and friendly and helpful. And uh, we're always trying to help the people that are new to the hobby. And the reason I'm doing eggnog is to help those people who aren't even licensed yet to get it into it, get used to it, and get the bug to go get their license. So hopefully one day you'll not be as uh, shy about it and you'll go get a license. And, and that's what this is all about. So thank you for checking in and uh, wondering if anyone has any other comments. Okay, that was the YL, oh. Angie, and she got a kick out of that. She looks totally satisfied with a big smile on her face, so uh, excited about that. Thanks for letting us check in there, and uh, really enjoy eggnog. Really, really great idea. Thanks for coming up with it. All right, back to that. Doing eggnog, that's third-party traffic with a control operator present. Any third-party traffic with a control operator, please come now. And with nothing heard, I'm going to close the, uh, the exclusive, or not really exclusive, but we're going to close the eggnog session.